Hello everyone! I made this shadow box with six prints. The 7AP number 707. The actual size is 9 by 10.5 cm. Anton Pieck was very fond of the image of the Three Kings. Epiphany. The Feast of Epiphany. He made quite a number of pictures about them. It is the story of three wise men from the East. Astronomers they were. One night they saw a very bright scar they never seen before. They discussed this phenomenon and decided it meant something marvelous. A king was born. They followed the star and as the star was moving westward they packed their bags with gold, frankincense and myrrh and set out, following the star. They headed for the palace in that far off country, but were warned off. The king who lived there meant no good. The star moved more slowly. They'd heard the baby king might be born in a lowly place, so in the end they knocked at almost every door. At last they did find the baby in a stable, lying in a manger, his mother Mary watching over him. In this picture you see three children, dressed as the three kings, entering a village. On the left, the village inn, with a sign, appropriately called the Comet. I used the following tools, a mat, a hobby knife, a pair of tweezers, a pencil, a silicon kit, a stick, a round object to shape some pieces when necessary, a tissue, varnish and a brush. I'll show you how to cut out. Let us say that I cut out this part. I go just along the lines, as you see. This here is an overcut. And when I have cut it out, I put a number which is 25 at the back, like this, and I darken the edges, like this. I do this with all the pieces, shaping or folding lines when necessary. In this case, I have to make a very fold here and I crease it carefully with my pen. I also crease this part carefully. Then I fold it. You see? Like this. I do it likewise with all the pieces of the manual and I put it on a tray as you see here. From 1 till 9, from 10 till 19, from 20 to 29 and so on. Only the larger pieces 
I put here. Now, this manual is made with a larger picture. This is a 6 AP, much larger. When you compare, you see that in some cases it might be easier to cut. I think it is almost, well not impossible, but almost impossible to cut out some pieces with the numbers 4, 7a, 9, 10, 11, 13, 15, 26a, 29a and 44. Now this is sheet number one. And let's have a closer look. Number 14, for instance, has an overcut. And overcuts are very important, as you will understand. When you build up, and in this case there is no overcut, you will see a gap in your picture. And the overcut, you see it by the arrow and a cross. As you have a black and white coffee, copy, it is not always easy to see what you have to cut out, but you will understand that you have to cut out this part, and this part, and this part. Even this you have to cut out, and here, you see? And these parts here. This is number one. So that's, this comes on the backing board, the very first piece, and you only need this piece for this doorway. Because when I'll show you this part, this is number 1A, this is cut out. And I'll show you this piece, you have to look carefully. You see that this part has been cut out. You see it here. So I did this with little kit. I put this little piece on part number 1A. So when you look closely, here at the back, you will see that this little piece is behind number 1A. I already put some glue on this picture, the backing board, so I glue this part on to this picture. This is the backing board. You see? This is number 1 and 1A. One this is slightly higher. Now this is number 2. Don't forget to go along the edges where necessary. And in this case, only here it is necessary. I put some glue in small dots on this piece like this. I can do it directly from the tube onto this piece in little dots and I go all over the place. You see? Now with a small, a very small piece, it is hardly possible to do it directly from your tube onto your, the piece you are handling. So then I use this. I just put a dot of kit 
on that piece of carton. But I'll show you later. Ah, there we are. Put on the top. And clean it with your tissue. Pick it up with your tweezers. And put it on your picture. And there we are. I very often use my knife to put it in place. You see? And this is only done for the night sky. Here you have number 5 and 5A. You see that this has been cut out from this part. Also cut out the sky, eh? don't forget. And that's the same with number 6 and 6A. These pieces are cut out from this part. You see? Now this is number 1A and 1A comes on top of number 1 and number 1 is only necessary for this part so number 1A comes on top of this piece you see that this has been cut out you do it with a little kit and then you stick it onto a backing board like this. You see? In this way you build up your picture. And the only golden rule is make it look natural when you build up. It's rather difficult for me to give advice how to build up. Look at the picture carefully and see what is up front and what is in the back. For instance, the three children, they come, they are in the front. The old woman here is almost touching the house, not quite. The statue with St. Nicholas is further away than the old woman. So you just have to decide for yourself what is far away and what is a much closer. When you do a roof, like you see here in the distance, the roof slopes. These pieces here on the house are touching the house. They are very, very close. But when you look sideways, you see that I need quite a lot of kit between the stars, for instance. And also here, with a lantern, what a lot of kit I have to use. Also shaping is very important. When you do the lantern, I have these two pieces here. This is the back part and I shape it with my stick and I make it concave. With the piece on top, I shape it also, but now I make it convex, you see? 
so that looks quite natural. I'll show you how to put kit on a little piece like this. Just put a blob of kit on this small piece. Like this. Then put a little little kit maybe three small dots then pick it up with your pin set and put the name of Anton Pieck on your picture. This is the very last piece. And with the bigger pieces with the bigger pieces you just do it directly from your tube onto your picture. Now last of all you varnish your picture. And I do not varnish all the pieces. I do not varnish the sky, for instance, and not the front of the houses. And not large areas, as they do not look nice. I now, building up is difficult for me to explain. The easiest thing for me is to say stick to the golden rule, make it look natural. Follow the numbers from 1 till 81. Shape when necessary, fold when necessary. For instance, as I told you, the three children come up close. The old woman is close to the house. Nicholas, on top of the statue, is a little more forward. So you have to decide for yourself what is far away, what is close by. And then, then what is also important, keep the top part, if possible, the same height. When you look at the side or when you look inside, it looks dreadful. I hardly dare to show you. When I have finished the picture and I've varnished it, I've got a frame here and you just put the frame on your picture and there you are. The finishing touch. If something is not quite, quite clear, please do not hesitate to mail me. I will gladly answer all your questions.